I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Penn State is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Hoosiers having a wide receiver like this, I think sometimes it even helps a young quarterback because this kid goes out there, he works hard in practice every day, and I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think he's almost like having an extension from the coaching staff into the locker room with the players. So he's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers, make sure that they're all on the same page, understand the route adjustments, understand everything that goes on with being a wide receiver and the importance of blocking. So all the little things that seem to add up and make big plays, uh, I think this guy totally understands his responsibility being a go-to player. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. Slings it. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. And that one goes for about five yards and first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Wants to throw outside. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And they make the stop at the 35. coordinator big time play taking that ball all the way in maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run and he converts the extra point a nine play 73 yard drive and a touchdown as a result so our score seven nothing looks like they're ready for the kick he just drills this one he's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Here he goes. Nice run, and he's brought down. down at the 47 yard line throws complete and he's hit right away And he's 
tackled around the 43-yard line. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Stout is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Tackle made right around the 22-yard line. Indiana is up by a touchdown. Caught open field. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 49. Man, that was an impressive looking play. When you can slice apart a defense like that, it puts a seed of doubt in their mind. They'll bring him down at about the 47-yard line. Nice run up the middle. the 40. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Makes it to the 14. Up the middle for a nice game. Complete, he's down. Indiana up seven points. Tackle at the two yard line. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the four. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. They'll get him for a loss. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and goal. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. Indiana leads it 7-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Under pressure. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. The deflection prevented them from getting any yards. And now it's fourth down. So it's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal. And this is nothing more than a chip shot. Indiana is hoping to make this a two-score game. And it's through the uprights. The 
kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he is drilled at the 23-yard line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 23. The Hoosiers lost a player to an earlier injury, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. And he's hit immediately. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes at about the 45. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it seven and six. He steps out at the 47. Still going to be short. So he gets maybe a yard on the option. Taylor, back to return it. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Fires it out. He's tackled at the 32. And a quick throw. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. That makes it second and six. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. to get the first here on second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Got. 
They come out on an empty backfield. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drive. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. And he hits him hard at the four-yard line. And again, they come away with a first down. Get the keys out. These guys are on a drive. This offense has just found a perfect rhythm. And the defense just hasn't been able to figure out a way to disrupt it. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of one yard on the play. That brings him second and goal. This is the 13th play of this drive. And they got him for a loss. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seven. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And they'll get him in the backfield. Taking back a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Kick is up, and it's good. Whitehead gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's tackled at about the 35. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Quick throw, brought down to the open field. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Five wide. the backward pass. Defense says they've got it, and they do. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Tough break for the offense. They lose it on a backward pass. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. Deep ball, laying it out there. Touchdown, Hoosiers. He makes the PAT. We played a half of football. Indiana leads it 20 to nothing. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. When you don't give up any sacks and neither team did in the first half, the offensive line gets a lot of credit and deservedly so. Quarterbacks also deserve some credit for that. They get rid of the football on time, yep. throw it away when they need to. But a lot of times they're doing it because they don't really feel any heat from the defense. Yeah, and, and defensively, you got to be able to see that. And if it's a three-step drop, then all you can do is get your hands up, try to deflect footballs. And if you're in the, in the if you're in the middle and you're a defensive tackle, try to push that guard as much as you can. So when that quarterback steps up, he has to step into somebody. Or how about you make a move and get outside of the pocket? You know, especially the blind side. The blind side of the quarterback. We always talk about that guy. You know, in the NFL, making all the money. A lot of times, you can take more risk. You can come inside on a pass rush or come outside because the quarterback can't see you. So some way, shape, or form, they got to start making sure that they make him uncomfortable and get some pressure on him. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and Davis, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Indiana's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers. The way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage, I think it's giving them confidence and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Slings it. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down around the 47-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. That'll make it second and seven. He scrambled. Tackle around the 41 yard line. Looks for his running back, incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. third down now and they're going to need about four. Watch 14, watch 14. That's what I do. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. goes at a 
about the 37 yard line. Pass and they make the stop at about the 31. That brings up second and five. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. They'll knock him down for a loss. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And they push him out around the 17-yard line. the middle for a nice game. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. And he hits the PAT. It was a 12 play, 81 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown. So the score now, 27 0. Indiana to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Indiana's coaching staff's got to be excited. Their game plan was to get it in this guy's hands, and they've done a great job of it. Well, they've done a really good job of getting the football, and they've come up with a variety of ways of putting the ball in his hands. And I think you combine the scheme with this young man's abilities, it's no wonder he's having such a big game. That makes it second and six. Quick throw. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. Flips it middle to the running back. He's tackled around the 31 yard line. Number 51 makes the tackle at the 31 yard line. First down. And he throws it away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 31. Gets it out. He's met immediately. A four-yard loss. But that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Here they come. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kicks away, and it's good! You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 27-3, Indiana. Penn State ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Penn State's been throwing the punches, and they're all landing right now. You're telling me, Brad, just an incredible effort in all three phases, and they're sitting on this comfortable lead with a quarter to go. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. From their own 27-yard line, second down. He makes his way to about the 38. looking for his man he got a lot of air under that pass and it gave the defender time to come over and make a play from their own 38 yard line second down they'll spread the field with five wide gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on He's tackled immediately after the catch. That's a loss of four yards. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Dotson, the return man. Dotson fields it at the 24. He makes it to the 32-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Call a gain of six yards. That brings him second and five. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down at the 45. That's three down and one to go. The Hoosiers with a 24-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 42. They come out on an empty backfield. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Five wide. Fires out to his receiver. And he is drilled at the 19. That brings him second and five. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 19. They'll line up with five wide receivers. What a play, and that is first and goal. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. Throws incomplete. And this is the tenth play of the drive. And he's level at the 
seven. Gets to about the five-yard line. So the offense stays on the field here. It's fourth and goal from the four. They come out in a five-wide set. Zips it to the back. And he's tackled just outside the goal line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle made at about the three-yard line. It's second down. They've got their backs against the wall. They line up in the jumbo set. in their own territory. Less than three minutes in the game. about the six-yard line. That's good for three yards. That'll bring up fourth and five. Whitehead is the punter. Fields it at the 50. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Tackle at about the 23-yard line. Well, that's a big gain there for the offense, and all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. From their own 23-yard line, first down, just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And they hit him in the backfield. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Here's an opening. Good outside run there. Tunnel picks up about seven yards there after keeping the ball on the option. They're about four yards away here on third down.
Indiana staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. Well, that's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.